Morning. Morning. Cheer up. You're in the Scottish mountain. Oh, are we? Where are we? Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben's right. No, Uncle Ben is dead. He died. Did you know that? Did he? Yeah. No more Mr. Voice gone. <laughs> we were here. At the foot of Ben Nevis. We stayed there. Right at the foot of the pony path. So we're doing the pony path, or as some people refer to it, the flip flop. Route. The flip flop route. I'm guessing that's because the weather's nicer. It's got to be something to do with that. It's nearly five o'clock in the afternoon. Because <laughs> <laughs> we packed and unpacked and packed and unpacked and packed. We've got and our unpacked. day packs. But what's happened is we've managed to cram everything from our night packs just... into our day packs. Yeah, and then stuck stuff on the outside. It's been a bit of a nightmare this morning, hasn't it? Yeah, it reminds me of the time we drank a copious amount of rum before going up Salton. But we're here now, we're starting. It's a long climb. It's a zigzaggy, monotonous route. But it's ticking off one more, isn't it, Nath? Yeah. The big three, done. After today, we hope. We're on the shallow part of the uh, slope and then you keep looking up to the left into the cloud and you know that there's no way it can remain this gentle and gradual for long because sooner or later we've got to get somewhere up there but at the moment it's nice it's like a leisurely stroll with some spectacular scenery what I'd like is to get to the summit and be above some cloud but we'll see cloud does seem to be lifting above us so you never know we might reach a summit and get the views that'd be nice so at the moment it's uh, quite warm it's dry at least it's a steady climb but busy very busy route and we knew it was going to be Busy there, getting chock a block, but now we're getting higher, it's getting cooler. It's not getting any easier though. I don't know if it's sitting in a car for 12 hours yesterday to get here, but my legs are almost cramping up down there. I've never had that before, so that was a first. Feeling the burn now. Look, whether it's either day packs or our stamina, or both, we seem to be sort of overtaking more people than people overtake us. <laughs> Which is unheard of for yeah. a summit yeah. enough in mountain adventure, isn't it? Isn't it? But, I know uh, we have stopped and they're all walking past yeah, us. Yeah, they now. Stop to film. Really warm. Sweating a lot, but making good progress. We're just starting to get to a point now where in the next sort of 20 minutes, half hour, if it doesn't keep rising, we're gonna start entering the cloud. Hopefully it's gonna cool off. Uh, it's a job to know what to wear because the temperature's gonna drop right off at the top. But at the same time, you don't wanna wear too much here because it's so warm down the bottom. What I was saying about stamina, I got to that point where I feel like I need to stop every two minutes. <laughs> Yeah, but it was definitely significantly further up the mountain before that happened. Yeah, it's getting hard. I'm sweating buckets. And it's getting colder as well. So, no, it's, it's good. good. The water consumption will die down the higher we get. Worst case scenario, we've got our stoves, so we could actually collect water from the stream and boil it before we drink it anyway. Yeah. We've covered every base, haven't we? We have. What's going on, Trev? You've got wetness of the pack. Yeah. How come? I think uh, my caramel pack isn't suitable for this. What do you need? I need a pack with airflow, please. From anyone in particular, would you like? Anyone. <laughs> well, 
Bogos, no Alpine, Offspray. Yeah, any one of them. Any of the big like boys. To sponsor us and send me one of your packs to test out. Or a lesser company that might be trying to get known. Yeah, for an airflow pack you'd like us to test. I'd love to test it. What sort of size? 25? 30, 30, 35, something like that. Start with. Cool. Not asking too much. No. But how the f <laughs> It feels like we're on a, a pilgrimage amongst all these people. We chose this route, so we knew it was going to be the busy route. You just got to accept it, get on with it. But the views keep opening up. I see for miles, I think. So we're on this section here, on this sharp left hairpin, and it swings up round to the right, and eventually it will lead up to this T-junction. And what we're thinking is at that T-junction, we've got to turn right anyway, and there seems to be sort of a like little, sort of lesser trod path that's a shortcut up to the main path, which might cut out some of the traffic temporarily and get us there a little bit quicker. So we're thinking about potentially taking that route, aren't we? Yeah, we do that, we? Yeah. Let's head that way. Not convinced this was the easier route. It's quite shit at the ground. It's hard work. It's very steep. It's been a, an additional challenge off the beaten track. But looking back at the area we missed over here, nice and level, easy footing. It's alright, it's an adventure, isn't it? So, this is the pony track that we've been following. Now, this was put in place, I think, at the turn of the century before last to help bring stuff up to build the weather observatory which ran for 20 years 1883 to 1904 it ran and a group of people lived up there and it was uh, shut down to a lack of funding Nafes ordered a book about it so that'll be an interesting read called 20 years on the Ben," and it tells the story of these people up there not just at work but how they played at their own toboggan races and little mini winter olympics Getting up to that point now where you're starting to look level at all these mountains you was looking up at. And in a minute we'll be looking down on them all. <sighs> ah, the path. Entirely sure that water's all right to drink, but each to their own, I suppose. Oh, cutting out that area did make a lot of difference. It looked hard to work. Back on the path, on the steps. I mean, we're just about to approach the zigzag area, which I'm sure is going to be laborious. The cloud sort of ebbing and flowing. One minute we're out in the clear, six minutes a bit murky, but it's a lot cooler at the moment. Isn't there? Yeah, no, no.
clouds coming in, but getting hotter still. Put my fleece on because it was cold and now I'm sweating buckets. Keep going. We're well on the zigzags now. I'm questioning the uh, accuracy of view ranger at the moment. It's the same we've done for six and a half miles, We're not even halfway through the zigzags. It might be since I've got a new phone, which means that a lot of my recent hikes may not be accurate because we do seem to have done a lot more miles than we used to, which I was impressed with at first. But now I'm wondering if that's not a mistake. Look at this. What knife? Oh. Enjoying yourself? Yes. Easy, isn't it? Yes. It's good. It is good. It's a long walk. Yeah. More up. More zigzags. But we keep getting sport with the views, don't we? We're up above now, aren't we, knife? Oh, yeah. Some places we're up above the clouds. When you walk in here, uh, go past groups of people, you hear snippets of their conversations. And I just heard one lady say to her friend that if I didn't eat meat, I could easily be a vegetarian. That's the clincher there, isn't it? For whether you're a vegetarian or not, whether you will or will not eat meat. When you see the quantity of people who do this, I'm not having a moan, I'm just saying it makes what we're doing seem quite in insignificant. I mean, everyone's doing it. A lot of people doing the Three Peaks Challenge, all in 24 hours or close to. A lot of people putting themselves out of their comfort zone to do this for charity. I mean, you see pensioners do it, children, and it. It's not a big deal what we do, but for me, it's, it is, because it's personal to me. I have never done this sort of thing. I'm sure some avid hikers watch what we're doing in our videos. I think, you don't know that, mate. But to us, it's, we're getting out, we're doing these things, challenging ourselves, and we're having fun at the end of the day. That's what it's about. Having fun, experiencing new things and taking in the views. Really is, final push now. Very nearly there. Past the zigzags. I'm just getting out of them now. There. I can see like ants creeping off in the distance. A bit further. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. We're high enough up a mountain for the first time in our summit or nothing history to have encountered snow in late July in the hottest summer we've had in, in England for f***ing seven or eight years or the United Kingdom because we're not in England we're in Scotland aren't we Trev? Yeah. What's that about? That's impressive isn't it? Do you know what they say when it's, when it's still on the ground there's more to come down? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they say? Yeah that's the same mate. Yeah. I thought it was only make snow cones out of yellow snow. Something like that, something to do with yellow snow and snow cones, isn't it? Yeah, the consumption of yellow snow cones is best done properly, <laughs> wholeheartedly. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to commit. Um, yeah, snow, snow. <laughs> Thank you. 
That better not be a sort of full summit up there. Here we are. The summit. You can see the little observatory over there. Little ramshackle thing. Monumentous, isn't it? We've only gone and ruddy done it. Well, no, let's get on the path. Yeah. <laughs> Ankle snapping. Done so well, and then summoning and nothing to it over the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> I think the more and more me and Trev do this, the more and more we're becoming the same person. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're swapping personalities. Because <laughs> this weekend, it's been uncanny how much we've just been there with thought to the same time. Oh, it's weird. You know, sometimes it's like, like a fraction of a second difference, but that was, that couldn't have been any more. <laughs> <laughs> this is the point where it, we, now we're going to turn into each other. It's like the fly. It's metamorphosizing. Mm. Oh, anyway, he's eating. This is it. Look at that. The booze. Have you seen them? Have you seen the booze on them? We've just been sitting here taking this in for a while. Got ever so cold very quick. Mm. I'm actually going to put my jacket on. We didn't do too bad, really. Stopping fair, but not half as much as we used to. Since we got up in a good time. We've seen some wounded looking souls on the way up though, haven't we? <laughs> yes. And then other people just running past us. Yeah. I never Very. get it. Running for <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you say about running? Shh. It is quite cold, isn't it? It is cold. Should we go and have a look at some things? And some stuff? And stuff. And then we'll have our celebratory G&T. Celebratory G&T? <sighs> and then the trek down again, isn't it? Yeah, what are we doing for dinner, Trev? Well, I was going to cook a spaghetti bolognese back at our hostel, staying in a hostel. But what do you want? Well, it's not that I want it, I just think it might be easier. I got a hankering for a McFlurry, basically, and we've seen a McDonald's in Fort William, so... McDonald's. I might have a double cheese, some fries, thick shaking McFlurry. It's not expensive, is it? Oh, no, it's not expensive. If you spent the same money on McDonald's as you spent on your lamb last night, you'd be full. <laughs> you know? I know, yeah, I was a bit disappointed. It was really nice, really tasty lamb in this restaurant. It was about five quid more than everything else, and everyone else's portions were coming out was huge, and I thought, ah, sorry, I'll spoil myself, I love the lamb. And it came in a big round plate, and it was like a little circle in the middle. Three carrots, that was my veg, and a, like, round potato. I had haggis and I lo really liked it. You've got to have haggis in. It's the same as if you go to Wales, you've got to eat. <laughs> <laughs> now, so you've got to have haggis in Scotland. Finish the sentence. So I can't believe it. If you go to Scotland, you've got to have. <laughs> <laughs> what a naughty boy! I can't do it. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Tickled me. Someone on the We're not shouting. We're not going to shout, no, we won't holler it. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Yeah. Cracking. Happy days. Happy days. So, do we uh, go have a look around the observatory? Shall us. Shall us? Yes. Just right. I think so, no. Well, we're on our way down now. The mist has come right in and it's wet in the air. It's cold. It is cold up there. We watched a documentary about Ben Nevis and they said people don't like to spend long up there and we see why. So we're going to go down and have our G&Ts below the cloud, below the zigzags, I think. We're going to stop and see how that goes. But we've done it. What an achievement, eh? Look at us little achievers. Me and Lee. Little achievers. Well, we've been going down for a bit of way now, and it's still misty, still in the cloud. We're past the zigzags, and uh, I think we're only warmer. It might be uh, misty down on the ground for all we know. Let's soon see. Or not. I feel more like a mountain man when I've got my waterproof jacket on and my woolly hat on. I just feel like mountains, you should be maybe not wearing Adidas shorts and the cost white trainers and borrowing your kid's school bag. But what do I know? What do I know about going up mountains? We can hear a helicopter in the background. There's a guy up there that's injured himself in some way. You got a feel for the mountain rescue crew that have just walked all the way up. And it wasn't like a little way up, it was quite a way up. And they've just carried the uh, stretcher up on their back. Lunatics. But providing a vital service, saving people on the mountains in the UK. Anyway, GTs, the grand touring element of our... What? Boys this is on a, tour. Boys on tour. Someone or nothing, boys on tour. Another one done, mate. Another one done. Chase. Oh. seen a cheeky little shortcut we're taking. Apparently this waterfall behind us here is the halfway point. Let's hope this shortcut's a bit better than the one we took earlier. to lift before he could get up there. We did wonder if the poor blokes would have to carry that chap all the way down there.
that's been a bad little shortcut and it's going to bring us out right where we took that other shortcut earlier but this probably would have been a better shortcut to come up you live and learn and now here we go time to rejoin the path It's been a long walk down, isn't it, Nav? Longer than most. And it's been a hard walk down. Feeling it in my ankles and you're feeling it in your knees, aren't you, mate? Yeah. And uh, all my hair fell out as well. That, that happened today, did it? Yeah. yeah. yeah I didn't even thing. notice until I just looked in the viewfinder then. Is that, that the first time you've seen it? Yeah. It's yeah. mm. horrendous, isn't it? I mean, it's not, it's not just little bits, it's all gone. <laughs> the lot. Anyway, the mountain. Oh, yeah. What you I make it up? Highlight? Uh, peanut and a salted caramel uh, <laughs> nature valley bar. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was I good. had a peanut bar, it's a different one, but that was nice. But we're going to get off this mountain now, aren't we? Hopefully. This is it, the end. So that's been Ben Nevis conquered. That's been our three peaks. Done. Done. Uh, that's a new one. Yeah, so thank you ever so much for watching that. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. And, um, yeah, we like to do something else another day. Would you like to hang around and see what we do? See you next time. Something or nothing. Sunday, 9. Be there, be square. Peace.